How was that, ladies? It's so good. Yeah. Amazing. It's beautiful out there. It yeah. amazes me still. Yeah, All this time. <laughs> so the shape of the dam makes it super, super strong. Yeah, we can see that egg shape. Yeah. 38 years of climbing up and down the ladders and in the cart, and not once have I felt not secure. Okay, okay. good, because yeah. it's quite intimidating knowing that yeah, that's huge. there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool <laughs> and scary <laughs> and big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, would you like to know how do we make electricity out of water? <laughs> we would. Yes. Yeah. We have the big Gordon Dam. The lake fills up from lots of rain. Yeah. And then the water that's in the lake falls down our intake tunnel. Oh, which is okay. About 12 metres in diameter. 12 metres. And yeah. 137 metres from the bottom of the lake down to this piece. Water then runs around 100 metres to the machines, yep. which are in the power station. Mm -hmm. Each machine needs 90,000 litres of water per second okay. oh, wow. to spin the machine, generate electricity. And then the water runs out what we call the tar race tunnel back to the Gordon River okay. down here and then off to Strawn, Macquarie Harbour. The electricity that's generated comes up the lift shaft yeah, right. through big conductors and then off to Hobart. Hang on, I've just noticed that's Rest Point Hotel is there. That's in, that's wow, size that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. That is huge. And, that, and that is to the same scale, so. Yeah, wow. Yeah, if you can imagine that's Rest massive. Point. Yeah. Our elevator is our normal access day to day. Yeah. yeah and it's 30 flights in the elevator, all double, so it's about 65 storeys. Wow. That's incredible. Underground. That is so far down. 189 metres. Wow. Underground, into the power station. Yeah. The tail race tunnel that runs out, it's 1.8 kilometres from the generators back into the Gordon That's River. huge. Mm. During the construction, which was late 60s, through to 1978 yep. for the per first portion, so road, village, I think at the peak it was just over 2,000 people living in Strathgordon. Yeah, wow. So they had school, doctors, police, the, the works. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, most of the dam was built on a 24 hour shift, so round the clock, oh, wow. all weather. There would have been a few hundred people at this site, a couple of hundred people on each dam yeah. on, on the other lake as well. Power station excavation, everything seemed to be a two or three year step. Okay. So the road in, build the village, build this dam, build the other dam. This feels like such a big vision, doesn't it, to do oh, this? It was late 50s they would have started the concept. Yeah. Wow. The old school pencil and paper. Yeah. They yeah. didn't have the That's computers right. of today, the supercomputers. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, that makes it even more impressive, doesn't they it? They work this all out. Yeah. And a lot of open cabin bulldozers. Yeah. No okay. air conditioning. Yeah. No fancy stuff. Mm. Hard work. So this would power how many? Can do about a third of, of the third. state. Of the yeah. state. At any given time on a normal day. So that's why we're the battery of the nation. That's right. Our 52 large lakes are, are the battery essentially. The water yeah. wow. falls in the lake. If we don't need to generate, the lake fills up. Yeah. And when you need your electricity, turn the power station on. Water drains away, giving us Green More than we need. energy. So let's go and have a look at the power station. Yeah, let's, let's do let's it. Let's go. If we're lucky, we'll see a cave cricket. I want to see a cave worm that eats the rock. <laughs> it's going to be awesome when you get to the viewing area and see how big the power station really is. So guys, we've seen the dam. Now we're 189 metres underground. Power station itself's 100 metres long. Oh wow, 100 metres, wow. We're 50 metres from the floor and the power station is 30 metres wide from side to side. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Nice. That's amazing. So here we are looking into the machine hall and you can see the three generators. The blue things that are sticking up out of the top floor, that's the very top of the generator. And then as you go down, so you've got the generator is the next floor. And then below the generator floor is where all the water comes in, oh, spins okay. the machines yeah. and, wow. and generates that electricity. And depending on the day, you can go from 10 megawatts, which is not much, a few thousand houses, to 400 
plus megawatts. Hold up a sec, Brett. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's take a moment to think about how much power 400 megawatts actually is. It's enough to power 10 million light bulbs instantaneously. How cool is that? All done with a little bit of water and a few turbines. And just think, Gordon Power Station is one of 30 hydropower stations across Tasmania, helping us keep our lights on. And that can all happen in, in a few minutes. Wow. wow. It all dependent on the market and demand. Yeah. Especially now with wind and solar in the mix. Mm -hmm. yeah. As the wind slow drops off, the hydro machines take up that yeah. loss. So it happens instantaneous. Was this built? Uh, late 60s, completed in 1978. We yep. commissioned and had electricity flowing yep. from one machine. So the generators, as we talked about before, they use a massive amount of water. You see the large pipes over there on the left hand side coming out of the wall. Yeah. They deliver 90 tonnes of water per second to each generator. Wow. And at, at that amount of water, it's 144 megawatts per machine, yep. up to our 450 megawatt round figure at a full lake, flat out, hundreds of thousands of houses. And once the water's gone, we've used it, it goes back to the river for the fish. You made it. We did. Awesome. Thanks, Brett. Safe journeys, ladies. Thank you so much. So you learnt some stuff about how we do hydro today? We yes. did. Shall we go to Watamana and find out how we did it 100 years ago? Yes. Awesome, in the van. <laughs>